Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. And today's video is a bonus Friday video. If you're new here, I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Sometimes I throw in a little cheeky bonus. Just, you know, for the jokes and the giggles. I would love for you to consider subscribing. It helps me more than you would know, and it's free. So, why delay? So today's reason for this hastily cobbled together video thrown up willy-nilly on a Friday is the new Fenty Mascara. I went to pick this up this morning. I got mine from Boots. It is now widely available in all of the places that stock Fenty and I thought let's give it a go. Now I did originally say I wasn't going to buy this mascara. I think I even put it in one of my pick it up or put it off videos. I can never remember what I call them. Sorry about it. But I think I said I wasn't going to pick it up because when I saw the brush, that's what I thought. That that face is exactly what I thought. I thought, mm, looks all right. Doesn't look like it's gonna beat my holy grail Lancome Monsieur Big. It doesn't look like the brush is fat enough. And then I found out about the double-ended brush, not double-ended brush, what is she on about? Double-sided slash double-edged brush, duo brush, if you will. And that had me intrigued, I won't lie to you, and I thought, actually, I do want to see what this is all about. Fenty, yet to really throw out a stinker, have they? Can't really think about it. I feel like majority, the vast majority of their products are top-notch, so I'm always up for trying a new product and um, yeah and that, let me tell you this brush has me intrigued so before I whack this on my lashes willy-nilly there are two things I must tell you two things you need to know about this mascara, mascara before you put it on your eyelashes because if you don't know these two things and you just whack it on there you might lose an eye who knows? The number one thing that you need to know is this is a really decent sized mascara with 12.5 mils. Pardon? That's right. I feel like Fenty are generally very generous with their fill sizes. Their foundations, I think, are 35 mils. Their primer, is it like 32 off the top of my head? I feel like they would just give us that little bit extra, a little bit, a little treat for us, if you will. Um, but this is actually far bigger than most of its competitors on the market around a similar price point. I will put up somewhere around these parts, I will put up some comparisons of their competitor mascaras and you will see just how much of a whopper this is. The second thing you need to know, I'm doing a TikTok. The second thing you need to know about this mascara before whacking it on your lid is this double-sided brush. Oh, it really is. It really is double-sided. The majority of mascara brushes are the same bristles all of the way around. This is like way more different than I thought it was going to be. Let me show you. So hopefully you can see this is like a completely flat side on this side and then you can see the brussel brussels good lord the bristles on this side are quite thick big fat looking bristles that you would expect to see in a volumizing mascara on this side it's almost completely flat very 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 small very small i am shook i hope this is coming across on camera this brush is like nothing else i have seen and i have tried a lot of mascaras i love mascaras they're one of my top three favourite things to put on the facial area. I absolutely love mascara. Don't use face Don't use false. <laughs> I don't use fake lashes. Let's say fake. Apparently, can't say false. Oh, I did it. Well done. So I, I really rely on my mascara to give me a very big, fat, dramatic, fake looking lash without the need to glue other people's hair to the eye area. I don't like that. This other side, it makes it more versatile. You, It's designed so that with the fat side, you are adding as much product as you can, packing product onto the lash to get that really fat, dramatic, thick, big lash. And then the other side is almost like a comb. So it's supposed to add definition, lift, separate the lashes, and it will be much easier to use on the lower lashes. So, hmm, those are the things I needed to tell you. 
hopefully no eyes will be lost today. Just about to move my mirror out of the way, but <laughs> probably gonna need that. Probably gonna need it. Otherwise, the eyes lost today will be mine. <laughs> so the quick disclaimer before we get started is that I like my lashes, as I said, fat, dramatic, thick, bigger than my head, okay? What you will notice about mascara, it's completely subjective. It's completely personal. I may put 25 coats of this mascara onto my face. You don't have to, that's okay. But definitely don't tell me that I'm not allowed to because I'm gonna do it anyway, just to spite you. Might even do 26. I'm gonna start off with the fat daddy side and then we'll go in with the brush. Very hard to apply mascara on camera. Just a, a heads up. I like to do a little blinky little blinker doodle it doesn't feel massively wet that's the first thing to note it doesn't feel like super wet like the monsieur big does it kind of feels in the middle i did notice on their website they say um that it is very layerable it gives you time to play around with it so i'm not expecting it to be super fast drying if that's something that is important to you and it is water resistant although it does not claim to be waterproof so you know don't go swimming and expect it to be intact, but you could probably have a little tear or a drizzle of rain and you'll probably be okay. Okay, so that's just like the initial coat, just using the fat side. No issues, everything is going on nicely. I'm now gonna do the top down, as I always do. So I always go up and then down with my mascara brush. As usual, I'm getting it all over my eyelid. It's very hard to apply mascara on camera and not be really messy so you just have to try your best to ignore that you know usually when you do mascara you look down into your mirror so that your lashes are away from your lid but it's kind of hard to do that and still be visible to you guys okay so here is one initial coat and i'm just really using the fat side at the moment um what do you think not mega dramatic with one coat I will say um, but also not like it's doing nothing at the moment still looking pretty natural pretty fluffy um, in comparison to the other side um, definitely giving me some volume a little bit of length definitely lifting the lash but I can still open my eye you know so I'm going to go in now with the shorter bristles side and they are really super short. Oh, okay. I really didn't think they were going to do anything, but they definitely are sort of combing through the lash. Oh, okay. I can really feel the, like, short bristles gripping the lash, you know. I thought they were almost too short to actually be, like, making contact with my lashes. I don't think you're going to be able to use the short bristles, like, from the top down, because it's going to be very awkward to do that, because you're going to be holding the brush at this angle and you're going to touch your lid so presumably that flat side is designed really just to give you a final sort of lift um from the un like from the this side what what the underside who knows it's definitely having an effect this shorter side i definitely feel like it's pulling the lashes up it's almost like um the bristly side is a brush and the short side is a comb i definitely think that's made a decent difference as far as like lifting the lash so I always prefer to just let the lashes sit for a second if I'm doing my makeup and I'm not filming I would now go and do something else like put my lipstick on do some bronzing something like that so giving it a second just to sit there before we go in with another coat otherwise you're just going to keep on basically displacing one coat so we need to let it slightly dry and then we can build on top of a uh, fairly dried coat but you know when it's time for your second coat when if you sort of blink onto your finger there's barely anything there the lashes still feel very soft i will say so they don't feel really super hard and like frozen and crunchy like some people hate now i never pump just literally put the wand back in and pull it back out wiping the excess onto the tube and we're gonna go for coat number two we're gonna do it I hope you're ready. Here for me is when you really see what a mascara is made of. Coat number two exposes you. I'm just gonna try this little point to get these little outer babies. Yeah, pretty effective, I will say. Um, and now let's go in with that short side again to lift. They're definitely staying very separated, you know. 
I mean, it's going to be total personal preference as to whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, because obviously, mascaras like Monsieur Big rely on sort of sticking lashes together in order to get that crazy volume. Um, whereas this is encouraging the lashes to stay apart. So you have lots more lashes, but they aren't as sort of thick and heavy as Monsieur Big, which for lots of people will be a definite positive. Okay, so here is the second decent full coat of this mascara and I feel impressed. I feel impressed. It's very different to any other mascara I can think of to compare it to. It's not got the really thick volume that Monsieur Big has from sticking your lashes together, but it's giving me serious volume without doing that, which is impressive. It's keeping way more lashes than Monsieur Big. It does, you know, group lashes together and that's how you get a very, very thick lash. This has got, like, I feel like I've held on to all of my lashes, you know, but they're still looking really, really thick, which gives you a much softer, fluttery, more natural shape to your lash. And I feel like it's also very easy to get all the way to the outer corner and all the way to inner corner of your eye with that brush. And also, given that I'm filming, it's really not making a huge mess on my lid either. So that's just an indicator that the brush is a very good size, not too fat, not too big, that it's hard to avoid making contact with your skin. So, so far, I'm really impressed. It looks totally different to any other mascara I've used. Very different to Monsieur Big for the volume difference. Yeah, interesting. So what we're now gonna do, I'm gonna do some lower lashes and then for the crazy people like me that are out there, because I know there are some, we're gonna do a third coat. That's right. So I'm gonna go in with the large side on these bottom lashes. Really doesn't take very much at all. And we're good. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very tricky to use the sort of shorter side on those lower lashes, for me anyway, um, without touching your skin. But the large side did a decent job. I don't think it's like crazy too much. It's not, like I said, like Monsieur Big can stick lots of lashes together so it makes it look uh, bonkers. You need the tiniest amount, wipe the whole brush off, literally touch them and they are really banging. Even after two proper big coats, it feels so soft. Like my lashes feel soft, like natural lashes. In fact, they feel softer than my own lashes. That's weird. I need some conditioner on those bad boys. It's a little disappointing for me. Okay, so for the crazies out there, like myself, we're going for coat three. Anything could happen. Who knows what's gonna happen here, guys. Good God. Oh, I mean, I've just never seen volume like this that keeps, I mean, even now I'm building this third coat. Lashes just are not sticking together. They are staying separated, but like getting crazy, crazy thick. What did you do, Rihanna? And then I'm gonna turn and use the short side. This really is a treat. I feel like there's really no need to go in from the top down with this mascara because it's it's doing what that step usually does without the need because of the shorter bristles. They're, you know, doing that job for me. And here we are with a mega three coat. And what I'm finding about this mascara that's super unique is that it is just really, really, really building and building and building, but keeping your number of lashes. Like it's not, you're not losing half your lashes to create volume. You're keeping all your lashes, but getting volume. So I feel like this is, I can't remember using a mascara that ha does this to this degree. I'm really mega impressed. If you want like a really, you know, impactful, mascara that will really define your eyes and be really sort of that fake lash look but you don't want to end up with like five ginormous eyelashes this is a really really good one i am super impressed and i don't know i don't know that i was expecting to be to be honest i'm trying to look ahead as much as possible so you can see but i'm also trying to look in my mirror so i can tell you what i think and i think it's 
amazing. Okay, I have to apologize because I didn't film this bit because I'm stupid and I'm so sorry. I can only apologize because I wasn't expecting anything to happen, so that's why I wasn't filming it. But I just decided to quickly catch up my other eye so I could stop looking mental. Um, and I just used the short bristles and just started just with the short side and look what this mascara did to me. Look at these lashes. Um, are you seeing this? How different this side looks just using the shorter side. So not only can this mascara do this, if this is what you love, it can also do this. And obviously you can see these are two completely different lash styles with the same mascara. And this is one coat. Literally I just did one coat and this was a few strokes. I'm sorry, I've lost my mind. I've got so excited. My heart is racing. That's what just happened to me. Um, I wasn't expecting that. But thank God that I did it because it's really good to know. So this is not your type of lash, which lots of people it won't be. Lots of people will be like, eh, clumpy, whatever. But this side does give you a totally different, more lengthening focused effect. So if you're more of a fluttery, lifted, long girl, you're covered with the short side only. If you're more of a drama, thick, fat, fake, looking clumpy look like me it's got you covered so just very good to know that this mascara can do it all so let's do a second coat on this side with that same technique just using the short side and see what a second coat just with the short side looks like so just for the record this side i haven't touched with the fat side i'm only using the short side and I think what it is is it really gets hold of your lashes from the very very root I can really feel this like pulling on the lid like not in a painful way you can just really feel it like lifting your lashes and like stretching your lashes upwards so I think this is going to be great for those of you whose lashes are straighter for you, those of you who really need that lifting from a mascara, I've never really felt this kind of sensation before when putting on a mascara, where you can really feel it like stretching and pulling on your lashes upwards, like it's really gripping hold of those bad boys. And still with like two coats, now although it's giving me a th like more volume, it's still completely different to look to this side, much more lifted on this side. So if you're going for a lifted effect, then definitely the shorter bristles, bristles which is what it says. Um, I guess my assumption was just that, you know, you would always use both sides, but clearly not. I really love the look of this side, actually. So that's that kind of two coats just using the shorter bristles. Um, I absolutely love it. And how amazing that this one mascara can do you know, a totally different effect and make a lot more people happy, you know? So every day is a school day. Okay, so I feel like this is a bit of a roller coaster for me. I mean, I started off really loving this side and being like, yeah, you know, it does pretty much everything it says on the tin. They're really nice and fluffy, lots of volume, very dramatic, really builds nicely, nothing to complain about. And then I discovered this side and this may be my new holy grail mascara guys i mean i need to use it a few more times because it's up against my lancome monsieur big which is it's been you know in my life for many many years i mean probably two but a long time in mascara life but this is this i i'm this is my perfect mascara here it is perfect so here's my advice to you i mean if you're going for this look then carry on continue you do you but if you prefer this side then the trick here is flat side first then fat side i did it the other way around on this side so this was fat then flat this is flat then fat and i much prefer it's more lifted it's more separated it's kind of i think got more length as well 
but whatever it is, I flipping love it. I am somewhat taken aback. So there you have it guys. I hope you found this review helpful. I'm a little bit confused. I'm just sitting here a little baffled because of what just happened here. You know, I wasn't expecting a mascara review to be this surprising, but it it was surprising in lots of ways. Anyway, I'd love to know which side you prefer. I'd love to know what you think of this mascara if you've tried it. As always, I shall pin a comment in the comment section obviously I mean where else would it be I shall pin a comment telling you if any crumbling happened if any smudging or transfer throughout the day happened as well as how it was to take off but I will say that given how fluffy and soft my lashes feel that will generally translate into a pretty easy to remove mascara when it's difficult to remove is either those waterproof mascaras that are like really on there or the mascaras that make your lashes feel very hard because they are basically glued on um, and this doesn't feel like that these lashes like I said feel softer than my real life lashes um, so I'm expecting it to be pretty easy to remove but I will report back on all of the tea in a pinned comment down below so if there's anything else that you want to know about this mascara ask me because I reply to my comments believe it or not I hope you found this video helpful and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.